afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Lauren Waldman, Senior Vice President for Silvercorp Metals, Inc. Thanks for joining us uh, this afternoon. Silvercorp is a Vancouver-based primary silver producer with multiple mines in China. We're one of the lowest cost silver producers among our industry peers. Our shares trade on the TSX and the NYSE American under the ticker symbol SVM. This presentation will contain forward-looking statements. Actual results may differ significantly due to a number of risk factors which we outline in our annual information form. So as I mentioned, Silvercorp is a Canadian mining company, but we have two silver producing operations in China. The Ying Mining District in the Hunan province and our newest GC mine in the Guangdong province. In our latest fiscal year, we sold 6.5 million ounces of silver and almost 90 million pounds of lead and zinc, giving us a net profit of 43 million US. Over our history, we've actually produced over 54 million ounces of silver and 800 million pounds of lead zinc. We still have over a 15-year mine life, as detailed in our latest technical report, which was filed in February 2017. Here you can see our consistent annual silver production since 2006. So in our latest uh, fiscal year, we produced 6.5 million ounces of silver which was 25% more than the production guidance that we gave and was a record high for our company. This year, we're expecting to produce 5.9 million ounces of silver. Our base metal production of lead and zinc has also been a significant contributor to our success. In fiscal 2017, it was a record year for us and we produced 89 million pounds of lead and zinc. This year we expect to produce 80.3 million pounds. We ended our last quarter with close to 100 million US in cash and short term investments. Now as this graph shows, we've con been consistently uh, providing positive cash flows and this has allowed us to recently reinstate our dividend, which is two cents US per year to reward our shareholders. And in fact, Silvercorp was one of the first mining companies to begin paying dividends to its shareholders. The company has no receivables, no debt. So basically we have a very strong balance sheet. Looking at our profitability, you can see our gross profit margins are over 50% and our net margins are around 25%. On the right, you can see that our all-in sustaining costs have come down significantly, down from $14.46 in early 2014 to just $2.26 per ounce in the last quarter. There's many positive factors have contributed to this improvement, including improved byproduct credits from lead and zinc, lower per ton cash production costs, and improved head grades. Now, with recent rising zinc and lead prices, our base metals now make up approximately half of our sales. Now here's a look at our ore tonnage and silver head grades at our Ying mining district. So what you can see is that we have steadily improved our grades since 2014, rising from around 200 grams per ton, 200 grams silver per ton to 300 grams per ton. 
Now, one of the contributing factors for this increase is an enterprise blog productivity tool that we introduced at Ying in September 2015. This dramatically helped to reduce the dilution, and I'll talk about the enterprise blog tool a little later. Now looking at our peers, you can see our free cash flow per share has been steadily increasing. And on the right, what you can see is that we trade at a high discount on a share price to free cash flow basis. Currently, we're valued at only 13 times our free cash flow, a big discount to our peers. This graph compares our gross profit margin to our silver peers. Once again, we clearly lead the pack. Now this, this here is an interesting graph because what it shows is that Silver Corp has been able to actually reduce the number of shares outstanding over the course of its history, while almost all of our peers are regularly increasing their shares outstanding as they need to raise money for financing. At the same time, we're always able to be generating positive operating cash flows. So just in November, we announced another share repurchase program. So since commencing production in 2006, our company has actually repurchased 13 million of its own common shares. So our, our flagship uh, mine is the Ying Mining District, which includes over 200 veins. And we're continuously doing underground exploration drilling throughout the system, and this has allowed us to increase the mine life to over 15 years. And this is even after 11 years of successful production. Within our uh, Ying Mining District, we have two mills with a capacity of 3,200 tons per day. And we also benefit in that we're able to sell our concentrate directly to six smelters that are located within 200 kilometers of our mine. In the Guangdong province in southern China, we commenced operations at our newest mine, the GC mine, in 2014. GC is an underground silver zinc mine with excellent infrastructure. This mine now contributes 10% of our total silver production and approximately 25 to 30% of our lead and zinc production annually. This graph is also a useful graph as it shows the company's success in continuously growing its reserves and resources. And this is, has been able to do even after its many years of consistent production. One item though that makes Silvercorp unique is a tool that we developed in-house that we call the Enterprise Blog. It's an internal platform for managing and sharing information among our teams, and we rolled this out in 2015. The Enterprise Blog is an internet social media system that makes the distribution and flow of work-related knowledge and information easy and transparent for parties at different locations. In the system, for example, each of our mining stopes, our development faces, or even equipment is assigned a blog name. Daily results of on-site inspections for these stopes or faces or pieces of equipment are required to be published on their blogs. With the enterprise blog, information collection, distribution, retrieval, and monitoring has become transparent and immediate. Our CEO can literally give feedback from his desk in Vancouver to a person servicing a piece of equipment underground at any time, any day of the week. 
So this system is one of the reasons why we, we've made such a market improvement in the head grades since 2015. So um, to conclude, I'd like to, uh, to thank you for attending this presentation. Silver Corp's accomplished a great deal to bring value to its shareholders. We've built one of the lowest cost and most profitable silver companies among our peers. We've paid out over $93 million in dividends to our shareholders. Any company can say they're focused on providing value to shareholders, but we actually do it. We're prudent and focused on being profitable, have a strong balance sheet, and by many measures are highly undervalued relative to our silver peers. Anyways, if you'd like to learn more about Silvercorp, please visit us at Booth 211. Thank you.